would've been crazy. Last week, I remember like 20 minutes cut, man. Remember the, the time um, we did it right there? It was uh, like a whole hour. Yeah. Right? Like two videos? They would have uploaded same minutes. Yeah, yeah same. the word, man. Yeah, but he's trying to say, he got to put in his whole team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know? we got to go overtime. Got to, man. So that's what, we, that's what we're doing through the spirit, man. Got to. Yeah. Got to fight. Got to fight. This is a fight, like we were talking about. Yeah. Being a stoic, man. Uh, spiritual stoic, man. All right, what precept we had? Uh, you wanted, I had uh, Colossians 3 lined up. Oh, yeah, let's read that. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 3, and verse 2. Set your affection on things oh, above. What's that, LB? Yeah. You know? Col Col Colossians, chapter 3, and verse 2. Shit, love fucking with brothers, man. Yeah, good, yeah. Good. Set your affection on things above. Not on things on the earth. Right. For ye are dead and your life is hid with Hamashiach in the Most High. Ooh, so, like, so like the brother was going into, in this world, we already spiritually detached from this world. All right. right. We understand that all these things is temporary. All this is going to get dissolved. Ooh. Right. So so in reality, we're dead, hid in Hamashiach to this world. All right. We just, we're just focusing on what? Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. That's what's on our thought every single day. As soon as we wake up, we're praising the Lord. You know, we, we want to uh, uh, wanna serve Him to the best of our ability. All right? So we're not worried about things that's on this earth, such as becoming rich. All right? Trying to fulfill the American dream. You know, those are vain things. Those are vain thoughts that's not going to that's not gonna benefit you in the long run. We're, doing, we're investing in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, and that investment is going to return profitable in the long run. All right? Because during the day of adversity, during the time of trouble, Jacob's trouble, which brothers feel like on um, their spirit is right around the corner. That's when these when these spiritual investments are going, are going to hit, and we're going to be protected. Right. That's right. That's right. Isaiah thirty three verse six. I had a precept as well. What the brother said. What the brother just read as well. Matthew six and verse nineteen. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Where neither moth nor rust of corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal, for where your treasure is, there your heart or the mind the lot be also. Mm -hmm. So we so we have treasures um in heaven, that's what our mind is focused on, man. Like Brother Red in Colossians, man, say facing things above, now things on the earth. Because things on the earth is, is temporary, like the brother said, and it's corruptible, man. Alright, so we focus on things that matter, which is truth, the kingdom, which is coming very, very soon, and we already have this within us, man. So we gotta stay focused on 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 the on our goal. Keep an eye on the prize, man. All right. Make full proof in our ministry. Do work of an evangelist. Keep pushing these videos out. Okay. Keep going out there week in and week out. No matter what, man. Keep battling the left hand spirits, praying, fasting. All right. We gotta keep our treasure up there in heaven. That like brother said when the society collapses, because it will collapse very soon, because America is vulnerable to EMP attacks, cyber attacks, all type of things that happen very soon. Okay. And then when it happens, we're gonna proof them out in our spiritual bank account. We gonna call you. How about you, Shabbat Kashad? Deliver me, save me, have mercy upon me, forgive me for my sins. You know, guide me, protect me, lead me to the paths of everlasting life. What you doing that right now? Uh, he, he answered our prayers right now. And brothers, pray the Lord answer, man. All right, so how much more will society collapse? You should say, you know, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, man. Mm -hmm. he, the Lord, let me read that right quick. The Proverbs, uh, Psalm 50. Matter of fact, get Psalms 9. It's calm. I got some. Calm, calm. Water. If I may read it right quick. Yeah, Psalms 9 and, and Okay, uh, brother, read Psalms 9. Oh, uh, nigga, Colossians 4 and 12. You want me to grab the Psalms 9? Yeah, just let me have verse 1. Verse 1, copy. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 9, and verse 1. I will praise thee, O Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, with my whole heart. I will shoot forth all thy marvelous works. Mm. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praises to thy name, O Ooh. thou Most High. Right. Go sing praises to thy name. Right. I will show forth thy wondrous works, man. So we gotta, we gotta, like, the, we may get that priest of after he said, occupied to like, I think that's in verse 19. Con, con, con. But what priest have you got? Oh, I got it right, I got uh, Psalm 15 and 15. And call upon, I'm sorry, 14. Offer unto the Most High thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Glorify me, man. See? Yeah. This is, um, just jumping down in Psalms 9, in verse 9, it says, 
the Lord also will be a refuge for the Ooh. oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Right. See Jacob's my, trouble, man. Yep, yep, yep. Sure. Yeah. Yep, yep. There's, uh, there's a little bit more in this. Verse 10, And they that know thy name put will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. That seek thee. And the scripture says to us, seek him early. Yeah, All right? You got to seek the Lord early, man. Yeah. Seek him by what? Why he may Maybe. be found. Uh, and how do you seek him? Because who's the temple? Who's the church? His men. Yeah. Right? We're the only ones through the apostles and elders and I can teach about Yahweh by Shem Shah. Right? We always used to pull that out in, um, in the, um, the book of uh, Song of Solomon. About the woman in Song of Solomon, the third chapter. And she said, after she watched, walked past the watchman, then she found whom her soul loved. Mm -hmm. now, then she knew about Yahweh Bashem El Shab, man. How to worship Yahweh Bashem El Shab. Mm -hmm. The Most High has a specific way how to worship him, man. The spirit and truth. Yeah, you can't just worship any old way because that means you like Cain. Come on, giving up the, the wrong sacrifices. Yeah. And, and you also, we also know what happened to. Aaron's two sons that gave a corrupt sacrifice or a sacrifice that he didn't ordain. That's right. What happened? Fire came down from heaven and burned their ass up, man. So we got to worship the Most High the right way. All right? It's not about us, how we want to worship Him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the brother mentioned, Cain, they, they knew the Lord. It was all back then. They do and bring fruits and shit, man. He, he was, was rebellious. Man. Rebellious, man. He knew the Lord wanted, man. Abel gave the correct sacrifice because he knew. Okay? And the Most High didn't chastise it. Dude, he got pissed off. He said, fuck yeah, I'm going to just kill this dude. Instead of just giving a correct sacrifice. Yeah. Instead of repenting, the old slogger, that's my bad. You know? I don't know. So Esau was never right. Never right. He was never right. Back he then he, he wasn't he right. He was a murder, the, the first murder and liar. Yeah. Murder yeah. and liar from the beginning. From the beginning. That's who he is. So to answer you guys, can Edomites repent? Absolutely not. All right? Because, you know, I think, you know, we, we get subscribers and... Never really looking, but YouTube got a display now, and you can just tell based on some of the comments, some of these people are Edomites, man. So, you know, we're going to make it quick for you. Can you be saved? If you're lying or go back to Israel, no. You're dead. You're done. And you might as well unsubscribe now. That's right. Okay? We're not looking for your attention. We don't want to hear your comments. You're screwed, man. You're screwed. All right? You were dealt a bad hand from That's the beginning. Right. That's right. That's All right. There's right? no hope for you Edomites. The so-called white man in, in um, modern day term. Okay? She says, ain't none of you right. Like you said, unless your line goes back to Israel, because you will have Israelites that will look that way. Mm -hmm. That's the mystery of the Gentiles. Right. But the vast majority of you are the biblical Edomites. That's who you are, man. And we just talked about Cain. That's who you are as well. It's the same mark that he had. The most high marked you from generation to generation. You mean you cannot escape your judgment. That's right. You can't escape. Okay? Because Cain, before he had melanin, he was hit with that mark of leprosy. And Esau was just born with it. So he couldn't escape it, man. No. You can't know? escape. And he was trying to marry the darkest woman to, you yeah, know. Yeah, It always sees him coming out light yeah, like him, yeah. man. You know? Yeah, it was his little experiment back Yeah, there. yep, yep. He's a yeah. mad scientist. Yeah, yeah. Let me try this, man. I, I got to, you know. Yeah. All it was coming out. He was like, what the? Ah, ah. Yeah. He was mad, man. He was pissed off. I got you. What you got? Yeah. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 41 and verse 5. Oh, we have Colossians 1 too? Come, come. Let okay. me hear that. This is just a good precept, yeah. Okay, come, come. Okay. Yeah? Oh, I got it. Uh, Sirach, chapter 41 and verse 5. The children of sinners are abominable children, and they that are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly, the inheritance of sinners' children shall perish, and their prosperity shall have perpetual reproach yeah, and that's also America that's the blot on America right now okay read that precept again it says what Con. I'm start uh, your inheritance is, is yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. America Babylon was built off blood mm. they say Columbus they coming up everybody know what he which he never made it to the mainland but the indigenous um, islands the Caribbean right and you had other Central America South America it was all bloodshed man yeah. Right, and the rest of the the, the, um, the Europeans that came here, right, that colonized this place, the Brits, the thirteen colonies, the French, and the Spaniards, the three main. And yeah, you had the Dutch, the Deutsch, right, which they're all, um, you know, Germania Minor. They came here as well, right there on Wall Street. The first thing that was sold on Wall Street or Wall Street was slaves, man. Mm. So this inheritance is cursed. 
Now y'all can't say, oh, that was in the past. Okay, like they say, your steps yesterday shaped today. Mm. They laid they laid the foundation for you Edomites to be living like this. That's man. right. That's what right. What are you talking about, man? So you gotta pay for all that, man. Mm -hmm. Alright, what you got? So Sarah 41 is 6. The inheritance of sinners' children shall perish, and a prosperity shall have a perpetual reproach. Perpetual reproach. That's what the most high said he's gonna destroy this place off the face of the earth. Because the book of Revelation tells you that what? They were drunk with the blood of the saints. Who were the saints? The Israelites. Right. Drunk. That's right. So he didn't just kill. He got intoxicated. Yeah. He got off on it. Oh, uh, Columbus said he didn't put down a sword for an hour. Yeah. You know? He slept with a sword, man. He woke up with a sword. He ate with a sword. Look what they did to Gad. All this was Gad territory, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? uh, back then we were able to drink from this river right here, man. Right. Uh, you can't you do, do that, that now. You die, you die that moment. Yeah. Your stomach would start you know, twirling and you start throwing up. Then he went to the Midwest, the West, got the gold, moved Gad Eye to land. Who were the main one to? Andrew Jackson. Ooh. Known as the, what, the Indian killer. Right? And he was a known Mason. All them guys were Masons. George Washington, James Madge, Andrew Carp, Benjamin, um, not Benjamin Banneker. He was a Jake, uh, what's his guy's name? Um, oh, Benjamin Franklin? Benjamin Franklin. He was Satan himself. A straight up blood drinker, man. All right? They were all Masons, man. See? The founding fathers. Like they, you know, like they set up a great establishment. Those guys were murderers and they were thieves, man. Right. There's nothing righteous about those men. And you Jakes out there, oh, the Constitution. These conservative Jakes, well, guess what? When they wrote the Constitution, your black ass was in slavery. Right? right? They like, were, when they, they said, yeah, all men are equal, they weren't talking about That's you. That's right. Bro. Right. Yeah, you were property, man. Uh -huh. Two thirds, two third of a man. Yeah, three fifths. Three fifths. Three fifths, yep, three fifths, three fifths of, a of a man. As they write a constitution, yo, as it was coming serving them food, man. Okay, with whips in your back. Yeah, they had something called the uh, man, Jake dumb, man. All right, so this, that this was never our rest. That's right. Yeah, the most I pulled it back a little bit. You know, what I mean, you seem like you have a little bit more opportunity now. You know, Esau, it, it is a oppression, but it's not as it was before. See what I'm saying? But even even in that um, opportunity, Jake got to sell out to get it. Yeah, and the reason why the Most High did that is so we can do this. That's right. See, that's right. That's only that's the only reason why he pulled it back. Because back in like the 20s, brothers you would be can, out you there do this. like this. No. Even as the came the in, the clans would have rolled up on us. That's already. right. Already, yeah. Dude, what you said, boy? You know? What you said, boy? <laughs> yeah. And the minute we start cutting them with them scriptures, they they do what they would. Jake did to Stephen. They'll just run up on you. Yeah, yeah. You know, the minute we show you how Shai is really black, yep. you know, oh, they would have lost it. They would have been a little, little silence and they would have just ran up on us, yep. man. Yeah. You know? But yeah. the Lord had everything set up because the prophecy said three eights and a half, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's when it, that's when it happened, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, so he, he, yeah, he only pulled it back so we could do this. That's right. Enough of you, Jake, to be selling out and doing this bullshit you niggas are doing, hip hop. Yep. Which that's not even hip hop. When hip hop started, Positive, man. It was positive. Jake was, you know, talking conscious, yeah. break dancing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it started in the ghetto. Like one of the main songs I remember, um, was Jungle. Yeah. About Grandmaster yeah. Flash. Yeah, yeah. I think his name was. We're trying not to. That's all. Go. Yup. Yup. Yeah. Who's out here? It was. It was positive. Yeah. Right. Kara's one was breaking down. Yeah. Shim. Yeah. 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 Into some yeah. Noah. It was. Yeah. You know, it was breaking it down. Breaking man. it down. Cause music is what. Music is a. Another form of expression or expression of your culture. That's right. Right? What niggas talking about today? Shooting and killing their own people. You had this, that you have no culture, man. Mm. That's a destroyed people, man. All right? Everything is about drugs, effing hoes, and killing each other. Mm. Right? Niggas are destroyed, man. That became the top genre. But yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shah's doing a mighty work? Every week he's plucking you <laughs> niggas, man. Right, every week. Because right. he's getting tired of looking at you niggas, right. man. That's right. Right, because that's not who we are, man. Right? So, yeah, like we said, when hip-hop started, you know, and all the, 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 the founders of it, they, you know, it was just positive. Jake was just expressing himself and the, the things that they were seeing. Then this whole gangster culture came in, like the brother went into before. They met with the prison industrial uh, complex, the record companies, and that was all just a snare and a trap. It had sell-out niggas push out these, um, these negative records, man. So you Jakes could follow them, man. Mm -hmm. And look what it now the shit led to drill. Which they actually doing the things that they saying in their songs. They get into the point. 
All right? And who's behind all that? The Amalekite. The man that calls himself the Jew, the chosen, the chosen um, people of the Most High. How could you be promoting that garbage, man? So you Malachites, you got a lot to pay for, man. Because right. they fund it. Yeah. And, and, and like, even today, you you may have a Jacob few that want to express some positive messages. No way. And then they do not allow it. There's no money in that. See? Because um, when you have when, you, when you're under a regular label, you have the the, the, the songs got to get like basically viewed. Okay, then okay, you can release this, can't release that, you can release this, can't release that. Okay, a certain song that be Tupac did they wanted to get released and a lot of things, you know, and that was back that's way back then. But the point I'm making is that um Jakes will um have certain songs they may want to release, but the, the, the label don't let them. They wanted to release garbage, man. Yeah, where's that killing shit? I can remember him in Malachi. Yep, yep, yep. He going in here to do check that he's shooting in the head and killing. I want that's what I'm gonna hear. Effing hoes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what they want to hear, man. Yep, he might walk in the studio, but like, you hear that track you got. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's grabbing some kind of stuff. Oh, you know? remember the guy said, um, Big oh, L, the, the the freestyle I got him. Was it Big L or Nas? Big L, he said, I, I went to hell. I think it was Nas. It was Nas. I think it was he Nas. He said, I He's... went to hell for snuffing Jesus. Yep, 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 yep. And the guy said, he eating my jumper. said, that's it. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> And he was like, yo, everybody in the room was like, what, what's up with this dude? Like, yeah, what? Yeah. And he's like, I don't know, the guy was a Satan worshiper. I don't know what the fuck he was, but he got up. He said, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Run that back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the record, that, that's the freestyle that got him signed. Wow. You see? So, the, that, even funny. back then, man. You see? Yeah, and that's it. The proof on that is, like, you know when the uh, uh, rapper's up and coming and they try to get that, that lake, the, um, that uh, record deal yeah. they gotta perform against all these uh, yeah. like, Bobby Schmurter? like Bobby Schmurter like in that meeting yeah, all that was embarrassing around, yeah. they up and they gotta embarrass themselves acting like a fucking baboon yeah, in order yeah. to get signed they gotta, they, they gotta it's, a min, it's a minstrel it's a minstrel show that's what it is yeah like back then they had you know the black face yeah and, and, and these uh, these stereotypes about Jake well you niggas are fulfilling that you know you fulfilling those uh, um stereotypes man Okay, let us say sing that in the songs 137. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the Lord, man. Yeah, yeah. It's a, you niggas on minstrel show, like all the nerd, because that's what those black face was about. They try to sweep that under the rug. We have the black face, they have the big lips. With the, and funny now, oh, that's the style now, right? <laughs> right. But they had back then they had because all these Edomites now get melanin shots, and um. They all want they they lips that um yep. full size lips now. Yeah, yeah. Back then they used to make fun of that, man. Yeah. See, he, what's this, the girl who played the Wizard of Oz? She used to do blackface. Mmm. You know, Dorothy, whatever yeah. her fucking name is, man. All right. She died losing her damn mind, man. Right. All these nigger, but you niggas actually, you you're the modern day minstrel show, man. Eve with your blonde or your pink hair, right? Hey, these got natural features, but you, you blow it out of proportion. You want even bigger lips and bigger breasts and doing all this stupid shit. You a modern-day minstrel show, man. Yeah. Right? What you got? Let's read that. Songs 137, I serve as one. The point is that verse 3. It says, By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Mm. And a lot of Benjamites just sing this. Yeah, it? that's an actual reggae song. Literally, I forgot yeah. the uh, the name of the By group. The rivers of Babylon. They, they, yeah, yeah many Benjamites songs swing, like swing low, swing cherry. that. one too. Yeah. Another good one too. That's a Negro spiritual yeah. right there. You know, that's your scripture. Benjamin were raving as a wolf. That's right. That's right. And Benjamin, in all their records, they talk about the downfall of Babylon. That's right. In that jar reggae, mm -hmm. Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. That's a fulfillment of him raving as a wolf. Mm -hmm. As a wolf is known for what his singing. That's right. All right. That's right. Okay. If you don't, verse 2 We hanged our harps upon the willows of the midst thereof For there they, that carried us away captive Required of us a song Yeah, man, we their favorite minstrel Oh, that reminds me, Salah gave me um, uh, it, it was a five heartbeats It was a five heartbeats I watched the movie, five heartbeats It's a certain scene where he got pulled up by the cops when he was on tour Alright, and when he got pulled up by the cops They, they pulled him over, they was like, you know, what's this? He was like, we're a singing group He was like, oh, you a singing group, man Who was the Edomites? They were like, you a singing group, man Saying it's a song, and it, 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 it was like bass, and, it, and, they, and when they were singing, you could really feel how like the Edom is so racist, and it's like, do you, you think about this? It was like sing it's a song, and they sang the hit song, um, uh, a heart is a house of love, you know, a heart is not a house for loves. It's not like that it was they singing it. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Esau was like, well, y'all sing us, right? We sing a song, you know, get in. And they always like, like looking at each other, like, like a shame. It was like a, like kind of like a ritual, man, you know. 
It says, uh, For they that carried us away captive required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mercy, saying, Sing us one of those songs of Zion. There you go, man. They love them, uh, those tunes, man. Because Jay got the rhythm, Jay got the beat, Jay got the swag. Right? And they used to do that to some slavery. And today, they, you niggas are doing it today, man. And today, Jake's are getting bent over backwards, popped those type of crazy to, to sing for Massa, man. Yeah. Mike, Prince, these rappers. These modern-day rappers. Ooh, man. this um, artist, Lil Uzi Vert, he, he's a weirdo. He had a, a, a belly ring, right? A belly, he got belly pierced and shit like that. And his girl, uh, what's her name, JT from one of the hot girls, city girls, whatever, she basically um, was defending him. People say that's Mad Mookie, whatever. She defended him, right? And she exposed a lot of the rappers. She said, there's a lot of rappers that y'all, that basically she said, y'all think it's like they dress like manly, they are like that, but they begin, you know, they be essing, um, um, you know, basically blowing rods, man. All right, she said, she said, but I ain't saying no names. She said something like that, but I ain't saying nothing, you know? See? She said not to expose any of y'all. She said, uh, don't feel the way, but a lot of y'all favorite rappers, basically, man. So, the baby, low baby, low dirt. Grown Holy ass, grown ass niggas that. calling themselves baby. They saw that in Boondocks. Yeah. Um, Delicious. 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 You know? The only, only reason he got that power because he be dressing like Medea blowing his CEOs. Yeah, he told the guy, he told the grandfather in the, the um in the um in the show, he's like, yo, I want a, one of them prime time movies. I wanna be I don't wanna be doing these skits. So you want a prime time movie? Let me F you in the ass. Then you get a prime time movie. Amber Girl's dropping bombs in um boondocks. Show you how retarded niggas are when R. Kelly beat the case. Yeah. Everybody was singing, singing mm -hmm. for this dude. Yep, yeah. Even though he was pissing on girls and whatnot. Yeah. You know, and did they sabotage R. Kelly and all that? Sure they did, but he's he's, he's not a righteous guy. Anyway. Yeah, he's a yeah, wicked yeah. ass nigga right. any damn way, man. A nigga who can't control his lower member, man. Mm. Okay? So his judgment was right, man. The first episode of Boondocks, Huey said Jesus was black. Yeah. He said 9-11 was inside job. Remember, yeah. remember he broke down Santa Claus, went back. That too, yeah. First was went back to the Roman Santanilia. Yup. Yeah. They sleep with each other, yeah. give each other gifts. Yeah, remember yeah, Ron yeah, shot yeah. Santa Claus with the BB gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was a classic. This is man. Boondocks, man. He was spinning Jews, man. What's the name the one that made Boondocks? Oh, the remember the chick Aaron Magruder. Remember Magruder. the uh, uh the chicken sandwich way back then? Wait, the yo, yo, it was bugging over. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. And remember that, that virus in it? Uh, um, basically, um, Huey had like generators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was up. ready for the NWO. He was yeah, ready. Yeah. yeah. He said he told him, yo, don't be yeah. let him in. Yeah. Every time he comes to the next they use all the power. They playing video games. Mad, he's uh, uh, granddad bringing mad girls over. Yeah, yeah, mad yeah. next door neighbors. <laughs> Tom is there and now. Of course, you had Uncle Ruckus. You Uncle Ruckus. He was funny. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was you a know? funny character, man. Uncle Tom, he's out. He, he, he went to heaven. He went to heaven and he met Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> and he saw himself white. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a, what's his name? That nigga got exposed the other day. Uh, Jesse. Uh, Jesse. Uh, uh, Pe Jesse. Uh, um, Jesse Lee Peterson. Jesse Lee Peterson. Yeah. That's Uncle Ruckus in the flesh, man. Mm -hmm. That's his ass, man. And Ruckus really thought he was born white, but then yeah. turned black. Man. Yeah, yeah. You just hate yourself, bro. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's that nigga Jesse Lee Peterson, man. Come to all these allegations, come out on this guy getting popped. Right? And which is no surprise, man. All right, but what, what piece have we got? I, I read Psalm 137. Yeah, so we were going into our, we, you know, we these Edomites, um, good, the, the, the best form of entertainment, man. And back then it was forced, but now Jake is doing, Jake is humiliating themselves willingly. So the most side putting you out of misery by just killing you. That's right. He knows what's best for you. He know death is the best option. It's the only remedy. It's the only remedy Excuse for me. that sickness. We can't um, resurrect you, man. We can't. Right? You're just beyond repair, so you just got to go. Right? I had a, I had a uh, preset. What you got? Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Folly is set in great dignity, mm. and the rich sit in low place. That's what he said. I've seen... Um, Servants of I'm about to read it too. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, yeah. verse seven. 
I have seen servants upon horses mm. and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Yeah, we are princes, man. That's what I named them, Prince of the Power. Hey, Yasha. All right? We're sons of the power, sons of the one you call God. Mm -hmm. Right? We're supposed to be ruling. Not we're supposed that dancing, to, man. Yeah, we're supposed to be putting a foot up your nation's asses. Right. Right now as we speak, man. Yeah, that's right. Dashing you to pieces, mm -hmm. executing the law. Mm -hmm. Right? Bringing pain and punishment, man. That's right. But righteousness at the same time. Right. That's our job, and that's what the kingdom of heaven going to be, man. Uh -huh. All right? It's going to be tyrannical. People think what's his fucking name? Vladimir Putin and um G -G -P. G -P. Uh, um totalitarianism. King, uh, uh, well get used to that. The king yep. of heaven is gonna be totalitarian. Oh, yep, yep, yep. It will be no protest, right. it will be no union, it will be none of those things, man. There'll be no voting, the next rule, nah, none it's of that stuff. Absolutely. And exactly. it's gonna be set. It's gonna be yeah, how was shy and then King David the twelve, that's hundred and fifty thousand elect men ruling forever. Yeah, that's that you're gonna that's be it. Uh, that's like the kingdom, the domain of kings. Domain of kings. Right. It's gonna be uh, monarchies again, man. Right. That's right. You know. That's right. That's how it's gonna be. And what we say is final. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. And after a while, a thousand years, you nations, you have your own leadership, but you gotta pay tributaries. That's right. But if you go off, when we come back to visit, it's gonna be more pain, man. Ooh. We, we gonna make, uh, Revelation 11 chapter says we can make it where uh, it'll rain on your land, man. Yeah. You, we, we can put a, we can bring famine to your, to your lands, man. If you won't get your land back. All right, but you acting up, made us in the famine to your land, man. You see that? Nigga, like, why is famine coming upon us? Oh, we went off. We did this. We didn't rebuke the, you know, the, the leader or whatever, the governor. Yeah. You know? See, yo, the, the scriptures say the Lord gonna give up power over the nations. Okay, we're gonna rule them with a rod of iron, which is like a vigorous, austere rule, man. Yeah, very austere. Manly. Yeah. You know? Ain't gonna show no mercy, man. Because, look, another thing, too, under the law, there is no mercy. Yeah, they call okay. it autocracy. Autocracy. That's, that's what's going to be. Totalitarianism. That's right. It's going to be, you know, that's how it's going to be. That's how the kingdom of heaven is going to be. That's right. Because, you know, under the law, there's no mercy. If you, if you break the Sabbath, death. If you, you know, commit adultery, death. You know what I'm saying? There's certain laws where you get burnt with fire. All, all type of stuff, right? Stoned to death, right? So, we're going to be perfect. We're never going to sin. So, we're never going to break the law. We're going to execute the law. And under the Lord is no mercy. You don't have a, you don't have a savior to, to give you a grace period to get out together. Once you break a law, you get put to death, man. You see that? It depends on the law you break. Of course, certain laws have different um, um punishments for. Okay, some of you get beaten with stripes, you know. So we're gonna ask you all that in the kingdom of heaven, man. And then after other uh, like brother mentioned, a thousand years you get your land back. We're gonna be paid tribute. After a thousand years, you're gonna start to get a hang of it. Yeah, you're gonna get a hang of it. You know, and you're gonna actually rejoice. You know, they don't live longer. You got it. Uh, this is the book of Zechariah, <laughs> chapter 14, and verse 16. It says, And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, right. the Lord of hosts, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Yeah. And it shall be that whoso would not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. Woo! So like the brother was going into in the kingdom of heaven, the Israelites starting with Yahweh Shai, 144,000 onto the elect on down. We're going to reign with the, with, the ruler, with the rule of iron, all right, over you heathen nations. And every heathen nation that don't want to submit and bow to our Lord, Yahweh Shai, we're going to have, we're going to have power to, to, um, to throw plagues on them. That's right. All right. And, and it, it says. That's going to be beautiful. Yep. Right. And that's what we're fighting for. You know, power. It's about power. I've seen a Christian, they said, or oh, the Israelites teach that they're going to have a nation. That's not in the scriptures. Somebody wrote, um, show us where that's not in the scriptures. Do you think he replied? Of course not. What do you mean? We read in there, um, it's all throughout the Bible, the Old and the New Testament. Okay? That's that's what um, Israel was promised. That's right. Okay? You had some other guy talking to me, a Christian Israelite. Just be quiet, man. You just found out you were Israelite a month ago. All of a sudden, you're some great teacher, man. I'm embarrassed to see them guys talk about white people going to sleep. That means you have not even read the Bible. That's right. You have not read the scriptures. The scriptures tell you, you know, Old and the New Testament, the Most High hates a particular group of people called the Edomites. Okay? So you coming up against that, you coming up against the word itself. Okay, Paul was quoting what? Malachi, the people that the Heavenly Father hate. There's a group of people that he despises, man. Mm -hmm. 
So what are you talking about, man? You see? The Most High never intended for all nations to be saved. He didn't give all nations. He wanted all nations to be saved. He would have gave them the law in the first place, man. Right. He never established a covenant with them, man, ever. And in the new covenant, he tells you Judah and Israel. And, th and that was the case. If you really think about it, because during the time of Moses, he said, "Let my people go." If you go, if you go back um, even further than that, during the time of um, Nimrod with the Tower of Babel, when all of them was coming together, he said, "All of them were coming together right there." If he wanted everyone to make it, but like, okay, listen, this is my Lord's commandments. All y'all keep it. Y'all, y'all can, um, can make it. No, he separated them. Okay, he separated them, man. Matter of fact, we're gonna get that Deuteronomy 32 and 8. We're gonna get that in the scriptures. Because why, wow, you Christians, you know, a lot of you just laid on every damn thing. So, like we said, a lot of them, they learn and looking at us, and they're taking bits and pieces, and they're updating that garbage. And the scripture, the most I ain't dealing with that, you got to be born again. Born. He's not dealing with Christianity, period. All right? Christianity has been cast down, has been destroyed already. Right. There's only sick, sick individuals that's still holding on to that lie. Mm -hmm. All right, what you got? Oh, I got one more piece. Yeah. Verse 18, Zechariah 14 and 18. And if the family of Egypt go not up and come not, that have no rain, there shall be the plague wherewith, wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Mm. So all the heathens that don't want to worship Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and don't want to acknowledge that the children of Israel are the children of the Most High and submit unto them, then they're going to get hit with plagues, showing you that there's a difference between Israel and the heathen. That's right. The Most High only love Israel. Come on. It's mercy is only for Israel. That's it. The most wicked Israelite gonna come back in the right frame. That's, that's right. love right that's there. Love. That's love. You know? Oh, that's in Jeremiah third chapter. He yeah. said, You have played the heart against me. Um, like right now, if a, a brother get a wife and she commit adultery, shall you take her back? No. But I'm like that brother, man, I'm done. You know, that's that's not. But then the Lord said, But but, but you return back to me, because you played the heart with many lovers, but return them to me. That's love right there, man. And that's what he told Hosea. That's yep. the whole, that's, yep. the that's what that's what that's the prophet yeah. Hosea. That's his story. Yeah. Now he married a harlot, man. Yeah. He had children with the harlot as well. See? She was the one a pastor for hire, you understand? That's Israel. And she's been a dochi while with him. Yeah, right? to, yeah, yeah, to 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 to, 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 to his name. To Zarek said that he didn't literally have what the flick? Oh, I'm gonna mean that. What are you but, talking about? It tells right there in the first chapter. That's right. Okay. So to say that that wife should be a harlot in the city. So, you know? That's the curse that we gotta see how to deal with. But as a nation of Israel, I said he shall expose her secret parts. That's the reason why they're whores. That's why they dress the way they, they dress. dress. They dress. That's a curse on them. Oh, they the said, Yeah, I'm going to take away your hair. Yeah. That's why they all wearing the wigs and mm -hmm. all that. That's a curse. Then when that wig come off, their hair is, you know, crazy. They got patches and bow spots. Well, you're going to see that all in Jacob's trouble. Ooh. That's going to be all in Jacob's trouble. Yeah, they're going to stink. Smelling stink like fish black. and every other foul smell under the heavens. Yeah. And no more wigs, man. Just, just that second and fifth chapter, no run, the water gonna stop running. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell yeah, you yeah. that, man. Yeah. So, ain't gonna be no no more clean water, man. And is that gonna be a very uncomfortable time? That's gonna be very uncomfortable very. for all of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, brothers, you know, man of the Lord, we like to stay clean, smell good, but that time is gonna be it's gonna be a trying time. Yeah. But, like the Lord said, he's gonna speed up the days. And he's gonna come through for us, man. We just gotta what? Endure. Like uh -huh. you, you mentioned to me uh, a while back to us, a while back when the, the, uh, they hit the, the tree and water came out of the hydro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you never know, brother. Maybe on a run, you know, having water for a minute, a little bit, smite that tree. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's hit that rock. You hit that rock, it's just like a, you get a nice, clean shower. Yeah, you yeah. You to drink and wash away. Yeah. You know? It's gonna be beautiful, man. Right? The Lord come through for brothers, man. It's gonna be, like you said, the most, it's gonna be the worst time ever. So we gotta prepare for that. So right. We're talking about power outages. How I was just for six months. That's hell. That's hell. In this society, Which, that's hell, man. Okay. Yeah, and that's a part of they own one of their projects. You know, Zypher. Because he, because they're saying gas shortages, right? And you need gas because that's how most of your power plants run. That produce electricity is off either coal or gas. Mm. Right. So they talking about gas shortage because that pipeline got hit from Russia to Europe, right? So they say Europe may be in darkness or they got to cut back a certain gas. And they said energy bills is high in Europe. And it's a domino effect. It's a world economy. Right? It's trickling over here. And we see them in destroying different power plants everywhere, man. Not power plants, food processing food process, plants. Yep, yep, yep. You see? So the world economy, man, it's going to be, like we said, food scarcity, no power, no gas. Imagine that, no gas or no heat in the winter, no power. 
That's hell. Yeah. And Esau is so wicked, he may bring, uh, like, um, he may bring a fucking epic snowstorm. To, you know what I mean? While he knock out your power, you yeah, freeze him. Uh, hurricane. Yeah, yeah. Bring out some uh, crazy fucking um, three feet of snow type shit, man. You know, and then he gonna say, oh, see, there's the climate change. So you gotta stay like just a just a wicked demon, man. That's right. Cause they talking about climate change, global warming, and they don't want fucking with the weather, man. Yeah. Oh, like that crazy snowstorm that happened in Texas. In Texas, remember? Cause he was against some of the, the yeah. shit that was yeah. going on yeah. with the next sea. Little, snowstorm oh, so a snowstorm hit Texas. People was like, where did that come from? Man? Yeah. All right. And you see, even the hurricane of Florida. Um, you know, he's against certain things. This is Rob DeSantis or whatever. Um, all of a sudden, they got hit with a hurricane, Category 4. Mm. That did a lot of damage in Fort Myers, a lot. And then you had Eve twerking in the midst of the flood, man. Man, you niggas are just... Yeah, Eve, that's all she know how to do. That's all she can she do. She a beast. Yeah, she's, she's a female, she's a bitch. Okay, straight up. She's a female dog, man. When a dog's shame, in heat, That's a shameful like woman, that. Shabby Canada. She's a dog. She has no shame. You're in a life and death situation. You, let me just do one more twerk. You know? That shit, that shit is disgusting. And man. Jacob's trouble to keep that same energy. Yeah, that's right. You're going to have savages out here. That's wolves, right. man. That's right. Dahmers. Yeah. Bundies. And Gacy. Perverse niggas out here, man. That's right. It's going to rape you, your daughter, your grandmother, everybody. Like the movie The Road, man. Yeah. She said they're going to rape me and eat me. They're going to eat your son. And she, 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 you know? That's more like what happened to her, too, because she walked off and we never seen the rest of the movie. Yeah, a dumbass. A dumbass, man. And she was ungrateful, man. That's right. She couldn't stay by her man's side. Fuck her anyway. Yeah. See, he, he continued on the, the road, the path. Yeah. And he came across the bunker with Matt. Yeah, Ford. that's how we got to be in that time. Right. Oh, on um, Denzel Washington and Booker Eli, he, he said, said... I got to stay focused. Stay focused, man. Stay on the path. Stay on the path, man. He, and what, 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 what made him say that? He saw a man get put to death, and then they grabbed them, that man's woman and started grabbing rape about the rape He wasn't trying to be no hero. Yup, no cat to save a hose. It's like, nope, okay. I gotta stay focused. It was right. his job to preserve the, the records. That's right. And you see? He realized now I gotta get I gotta get going, man. And even that Edomite that was trying to follow him throughout these, he didn't want to follow him. He locked him inside the shit. Yeah, he said, listen, the road is no place for women. Stay here. Be I, obedient. How dumb as in, listen, that she almost got raped. You know? And they owe another thing too. They going men gonna use women to catch other people, man. You know? The love of many gonna wax cold. The love of gonna wax cold. Yeah, the woman gonna be asked for help. I showed this another movie I watched too called the um the end. It was something like that. It was something they were, they were traveling on the road in an event, and the car in front of them stopped begging for help, begging for help. And they got out to help, and it was a setup. The other dudes came with guns, give me your car, give me your gas. They did that in Kingdom, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The woman told her, yo, yeah, it's yeah. a trap, the queen. Yeah. It's a trap, man. That dumbass. We have to help him in 